Marianne again. Now, I got this ground chicken out to thaw today because I thought I'm in the mood for chicken. I've had enough beef for a while. And it thawed out. What I failed to do is figure out what else I'm going to do with it. I didn't want potatoes. So, I have I have some tomatoes here. These are so cute to have on hand. And I remembered that I had bought this lemon at the grocery store the other day to go with chicken. For some reason, there's some recipe out there. So then I have some penne pasta that needs to be eight. And I have some Parmesan Reggiano cheese that I've minced up. And I have some provolone cheese. Now, with all that being said, I really don't know how this is going to turn out. Because I didn't think things through. And that's what happens when you don't think about stuff. So right now it's 1240 and I'm getting hungry. Which means I'm going to get crabby. So I'm going to get hangry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this for a moment. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I'll go ahead and get this in the skillet. Get the chicken in the skillet. Get that warming up. They don't show you this on these other cooking shows. They're all organized. All ready to go. Well, most times, we're not ready to go. Most times, we're hungry. We want it now. It ain't coming now. And then we eat bad. Luckily, I have remembered to get the chicken out of the freezer, just had to get my salt, for, I, my salt ran out, this is my salt I use, but did I get it out and open it up? No. So I really am cooking, just like most people do, you get home from work, home from baseball whatever and you got people to feed okay so that is done this skillet is hot throw some olive oil in there cut my chicken open should just pop out. Now, you got to be careful here because it's hot grease. The pan was hot. I put the oil in. Oh, shoot. And it can splatter you because you got water in the meat yet. I don't know about all you people, but... I don't like to get splattered by grease. It hurts. Yes, 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 yes. Now, clean up these little plastic things so we don't get them in our food. Let's turn this flame down. Yeah. Yeah, this is dirty. Don't want that bad. So we got... Pasta water cooking, and chicken is cooking, oh yeah, and it's still frozen, Woo. oh, can't see back there, so this is the chicken and it's still frozen so it has a lot of water in it which means you can get splattered and when i bought this big thing splatter guard i bought it to put over here on this but i like to use it on this i think i need to buy a new one Oh, yes, now you can see it. I bought it to put on my Pampered Chef 
big huge cast iron but it, it needs to go on that all right so put the cheese up here put the tomatoes up here pasta's cooking oh, don't do that accidentally hit the button see this out. Now, that's cooking. So we're just going to flip over here. There we go. Turn that on. Now, this is really nice to have. I don't know where I got it at, but I really liked it because it came with this guard here. So it keeps the um, grate. Now, I've done it this way, and I think I've done it this way. If I do it this way, I have to have this this way. See? It doesn't do very much, and I don't like that. So if I put it on this bowl... Hope you guys can see that. I get it better because I can apply more pressure. So when your hands don't apply pressure the way that you see other people do it, just figure out how it works for you. There. And then what's really cute is there's this all right there. Sharp edges. Hmm. Don't want to leave that all in there. All right. Got that. Turn around. It's like as the world turns. Shaving it off in the middle here. That's why I like my I like my stainless steel pans. I got these years, years ago. Gosh, I've had them for so long. And I think they're Wolfgang Pucks. And I got a couple of Emerald Lagasses. Speaking of pots and pans, don't buy sets. The worst thing ever is to buy a set. And I am looking at replacing my um, Pampered Chef non-stick Teflon or whatever. I'm telling you, that's going to be probably one of the next things that we do is um, apple pie slab show how to do that. Anyways, this is my favorite Thrive Italian seasoning. Just going to sprinkle it in here. Mmm. And I always break apart my head of garlic. Keep it. It's not closed tight. It just sits on there to keep it. stuff. And then I've always got I can always grab fresh garlic. And I keep it over there. Right here's my fresh my fresh garlic. And then one of my favorite tools, I don't care what you use. I just happen to be a pampered chef, but there's other ones out there. You just I don't know for some of you who don't know this. You take a, a clove of garlic that is not still got its paper on you stick it in here you flip this around and you squeeze and 
And then this always gets stuck in there, but sometimes you get lucky and pull it out. And I want two clothes. Look at all that. Hey, I got it lucky again. All right. Get this all doing this thing. The water is boiling over there. This is cooking with chicken. You really want to make sure it's well done. You don't want any pink showing. As you can see, it soaked up all that oil that I had put in here. But I'm not putting any more in. I'm just cutting up these chunks. There we go. Alright, it's 12.51, so we haven't been doing this for too long. I want to put this zest in there. Let's see which drawer. There's so many drawers. I zested that. I don't want it to go away. Okay, so I put the Italian seasoning in here. I put the garlic. Fresh minced garlic. Chicken's cooking. I put the lemon zest in. Zest from one lemon. I don't know. I got this. And there, once again, don't buy a knife set. Just buy a knife. Buy what you need. You know, if you always use a six inch knife, then just stick with a six inch knife. You go for the bigger ones, go for the bigger ones. But, oiling. That's hot. shark gloves here. There we go. I probably used one pound. I probably had one ounce out of it and I probably used Half, half of that, so it's going to be eight ounces. Alright. Get that all stirred around. Wow, look at that chicken. Look at that. The water all dissipated. That's so, yeah, blow on it. That's good. That's very good. Yeah, that's not bad. See how some of these are a little bit dried up? I don't know if the camera will catch that or not. Do you know what else would be good in here? Popping all them little tomatoes. Well, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll be doing that. I bet olives. Whoever had cooked olives. I guess the smaller ones. It's harder to do. Yeah. Oh, here's a nickel here. Oh, just a little black handle? Yeah. Okay. A little pokey on Yeah, baby. Let me see what happened here. <laughs> now you gotta go hunting for him. <laughs> I just got started on it. I turned around and done it. Mm. Mm. That is so good. I'm gonna turn the flame way down. Mm. You would think that lemon would really pop up, you know? But the chicken is just good with it. All right, so now it's one o'clock. It's 21 minutes into this thing. And uh, I'm gonna shut this off. Okay, so I want a little bit more flavor. So I'm putting this in there. Pass is just about done. Ooh, I wonder what horseradish should be like in there. Now, I'm not going to use hot water from anything other than the pasta water. I'm going to melt that up. I did squeeze the other lemon in here when I was off camera. Just add just a little bit more flavor because the pasta is going to jump in here and... so good on my clock it's 105 so i've been cooking since 20 minutes till one so about 25 minutes into it and the pasta is what's taking the longest so that's not bad not bad at all it's boiling so let's get one of these noodles out Ooh. see what it's like oh mm -hmm. okay so that up. Parmesan Reggiano inside. Oh my gosh. So delightful. Oh, and when you buy pots and pans, make sure to get them with the lids with holes in them so you can drain stuff easier. Turn the flame up on that. I'm going to drain the rest of the pasta. Oh yeah, that is delicious looking. But now what am I going to do with my provolone cheese? I think what I'll do is I'll just rip off pieces to throw in there. And it'll melt down and make that liquid more soup, more, more cheesy, more creamy. What a great recipe this is. Oh, oh, oh. pasta got away. Pasta jumped the band. Okay. Should have hit my apron on. No, I just turned away. <laughs> I just let it throw that in. Look how that cheese is melting. Oh my gosh. I can't hardly wait to write this recipe up. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yep. Yeah. Wow, look at the cheese, how it melted in there, got everything all creamy. Okay, off. Um, so we're going to need olives on the refrigerator. Okay. 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 I think we're going to have to have a container. So, it's 111 and we're sitting down to eat. Sure didn't take too long for me not knowing what we were going to do today. I'll have the recipe up on my Substack channel. And, of course, this one's going on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Peace out. It's Mike Marion. Eat good food.
Bye.